thank you for joining us today. Pleasure. Now, won't you speak to us about the Clothing Bank? What is it? Well, the Clothing Bank is a non-profit organization that I started with uh, a colleague, Tracy Gilmore, in 2010. And what we do is um, we have contracts with all the major South African clothing retailers who donate all of the excess clothing. And then we use the clothing as a tool for empowering unemployed mothers to start up small uh, clothing trading businesses. Now, you spoke at the recent TEDx Cape Town Women event, and you spoke about the concept of micro-franchising in, instead of... Well, let, let me have you explain it. <laughs> All right, so I think uh, within South Africa, there's a you know, government are obviously struggling to find employment or create employment for, for, for the many youth that we have. 36% is the latest unemployment rate amongst youth. Um, and many of the, 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 the kids coming out of school are underdeveloped emotionally because of, of the difficult circumstances in which they've been raised. And they're also undereducated given uh, some of the challenges within our schooling system. Um, and there's definitely this latest strategy to make uh, everybody uh, entrepreneurs. And we've realized that through the work that we do, that that is just completely unrealistic. Um, if you're underdeveloped emotionally and undereducated, like many of the kids coming out of school, you're stuck at about the development age of about a 12 year old. And 12 year olds um, aren't able to take responsibility for life, they aren't able to. Um, navigate life's obstacles, um, be innovative and be able to implement and execute that innovation. What they're really, really good at is copying. And what they're really good at is working in groups and they need a lot of structure. So that's where the concept of micro-franchising came from. How do we help these young people become self-employed, not entrepreneurs? Um, because employment is really not an option for many of them. And the concept of micro-franchising is no different to the concept of franchising. It is where an entrepreneur creates a business model, innovates it, implements and executes it, tests it, um, often fails many times, and when it's ready to go to market, they then package it um, as a business in a box uh, and then use franchisees to roll out that model. And really, instead of asking, instead of expecting a young person to invent the recipe, we're actually giving them, giving them the recipe and then really saying to them, follow the recipe. In fact don't deviate from the recipe. And then we give them a lot of structure around coaching, mentoring, systems and processes in very broken down into very, very simple uh, steps for them to execute. The difference between a macro franchise and a micro franchise is just the size of the business. Um, so we define a micro franchise as a business that uh, needs less than 50,000 Rand capital to start up the business. And then ideally, um, we want the franchisee to earn about 5,000 Rand a month from the business.